Well, what we were excited to, when we got into the tournament, of course, it was the first four in Dayton. The guys just were excited to play. And of course, we went right from there after beating USC to go to Chicago to play Georgetown and Purdue. Uh, but by far, Florida State in the Sweet 16, uh, we had a week to prepare for them and all the coaching all the coaches, the coaching staff, were like, how are we going to beat these guys? They were so big and so long and athletic. They had pros on their team. And how are we going to match up with these guys? As the game went on, that was by far the toughest opponent because of their physical uh, appearance, their, the way they played. Our freshman at the time, Rob Brandenburg, blocked a shot at the buzzer. We go crazy. Now we're in the lead eight to play Kansas. After the Kansas game, when we went up in the final four, and we're all in the locker room, Coach Smart, you know, addressed them, and there we had, you know, a net in, in there, and the trophies in there, and all that, and everyone's sort of sitting back in their lockers, and the coaches are looking at each other like, we really are going to the final four. Like we're going to Houston next weekend. I just remember that. That was really cool. That was a great professional moment for all the coaches. Like, hey, we did this. And it was really neat to see, especially like Joey Rodriguez and Brandon Rosell seniors who worked really hard in their four years to say, this could happen at a school like VCU. Making the NSA tournament, making that run to the Final Four as a coach, it just it makes it gives you more confidence. It solidifies uh, how you coach and teach the game, how you go about your your daily routine to be a coach and, and to help your players. Um, and that you can have success at a certain level. So I think it, gave you, it gives you as a coach a lot of confidence that we're doing this the right way. I think the lessons I learned at VCU and of course the run to the Final Four, um, you, you really care about the guys, you spend a lot of time with them, you get them to not just trust you as a coach, but trust you as a person. And the more players know that you care about them, the more they'll give themselves to you and work as hard as they can for you. And, that's how you move forward as a basketball program and as a team and, and as individual players move forward. And if they trust, they listen, and they buy in, then that's where you can get success. We're doing that here at Rice. Uh, you know, we're building it with our culture and our approach, my approach, and, and I think our players and the guys have decided to come here and play for us have bought into that right away. They're having fun. They're playing a cool style. Uh, we're starting to beat people. People didn't think we can. Now we got to take it to a whole nother level, just like we did at VCU. So, yeah, and I talk about those those days and those memories to our players because that's fact. And then guys buy into it and they grip onto what you're teaching them and, and they take off. And yeah, we're taking that approach and we want to be real aggressive like that and, and get after it and go after it. And if you work really hard, you give yourself those, those opportunities. Well, having the, the final four here in our backyard, which, you know, of course, uh, you're seeing everything. You get the feel of, of a final four. You will just feel the atmosphere of that, hey, this is what it's all about. And here are the teams that are going to play for a national championship. They're in our hometown. It gets you excited to be a basketball player and a college basketball player and makes you want to shoot and dream to be a part of that. We want to build Rice basketball to a program that, that is, is here to stay. The number one thing is recruiting great kids that want to play in the NCAA tournament. And that, that, that's their dream, just like it is the coach's dream. So when that happens, uh, they'll work every day for that. And I think that's, that's the biggest thing about, before you even talk about winning a game in the NCAA tournament and getting there, you have to have a plan for everyday success. And our plan here is to build the best culture we have with guys that work extremely hard, coaches that work extremely hard, to continually move us forward. And if we move forward and we continue to keep winning games and doing it more and more, then we're putting ourselves in a, in a position where we have that opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament. From there, anything could happen.